Good morning, good morning, good morning. Buenos dias, mi gente. Yo, yo, welcome to Daily Discipline number 690, primarily in a row. My name is Rob Hoback. Happy that you're here. Honored and humbled that you keep coming back like for reals. Hey, uh, it's a Sunday fun day. And on Sunday fun days, we talk about how all work, no play makes Jack a dull boy. Got to have some balance in your life. Um, I, the, my Sunday fun days today look dramatically different than the ones five, ten years ago. Um, but I still love them, right? And uh, I love the time that I get to spend with my kids without the the pressure of work around me, right? I'm sure, it's the same for you. So enjoy your Sunday fun day. Um, even though it's a Sunday fun day, I got a little bit of work to do, so let's do it. First things first, still the realist. I'm also fine. Not great, not terrible, I'm fine. I've woke up the last couple of weeks with a stomach ache. Nauseous, right? Lasts most of the day. I don't know what's causing it. I believe it's stress because when I allow myself to just calm my mind, that seems to uh, help. So I just need to do a better job of staying present, meaning stop worrying about the things that could happen and worry about what's in front of me right now. Um, nonetheless, let's get on to our real talk. Careful what you wish for, right? Think about that one. Careful what you wish for. Think of every thought that you've ever had in your mind and how thankful you are that a lot of those didn't come true. Why am I talking about this today? Because we're in the midst of quarantine. And a couple of weeks ago when school started, Sam said to me, out loud, it's, man, I wish I had to quarantine. I'm like, no, you don't. Please don't ever say that. Oh, well, I don't want to go. School. I'm like, no, you don't. You don't even know the drama that that brings. And in that moment, my intuition was like, you shouldn't have said that, right? And here we are, right? And I'm not even upset with him, right? I told him, like, careful what you wish for. Sometimes these things happen. Sometimes you think you want things to be a certain way. And then when they work out, you're like, oh, man, that's not what I had in mind. Like, exactly. Careful what you wish for. There are also times where we think, and we've all done, oh, man, I wish this would happen. I wish, especially when it involves another person, right? And then it happens or it doesn't happen. Either way, if it doesn't happen, you're like, 10 years later, you're like, thank God that didn't happen. Thank God that person didn't come to work with me. Thank God I didn't have a relationship with that person. Thank God, whatever it is, right? Careful what you wish for. With that, we're going to move on to our thank yous. Number one, God has been good to us in the good times and the bad. Number two, NBA, right? Did you guys watch the NBA last night and watch the, the Denver Nuggets show up and school the Clippers? Like, I'm just over the Clippers. I feel like if they can't just turn it on and, the, like, not impressed, right? I was impressed with the Nuggets. Um, we we'll love this song by Chase Rice, too. Thankful for that. I'm thankful for the NFL. Hey, guys. I'm not sure if you guys heard about this or not, but Adrian Peterson, who's from Texas. You guys want to say hi? You want to get up here? I'll finish this up. What's um, up? Daddy? Yeah. You know firewall? Firewall. Firewall. Can Daddy finish this up? I was talking about Adrian Peterson. We're almost done. So Adrian Peterson from Texas played his college football at OU. Great football player. Went to the Minnesota Vikings, which are in the same division as the Packers, and beat him up for years, right? Well, then he got in some trouble, whatnot. Um, sat out a year, was suspended, and then he went and played for the Washington Redskins. And so, like, he's an older version of them. Anyway, it was announced this morning uh, that he's going to play for the Detroit Lions. And you'd think I would be worried about that as a Packers fan, but then I reminded myself, like, well, number one, Adrian Peterson is now old. And number two, the Detroit Lions had Matthew Stafford, Barry Sanders, and Megatron in their prime, and they still never made it to the Super Bowl, so I'm not that worried about that. But I'm thankful we can talk about it. I'm thankful for good health, right? How do you feel? You feel okay? Fireball. Fireball. Sissy, are you all good? Yeah, Sissy's good. Bro's got, we're, we're here for coronavirus uh, quarantine, but other than my, we're all good, right? And this is where I was going with that. If you've never woken up in the morning, a couple mornings in a row with the same thing happening, like this is, I, I believe this is the first time in my life that I've ever had something like this, a repetitive thing going on. And it just makes you thankful for your good health. I'm thankful for that HBO right out there. The Hillbilly Backyard Oasis. All three kids got the hillbilly yesterday, didn't you? You guys had fun out there. Uh, we're going to go work out there today. I'm thankful that the kids are here. Sam, Addy, Jack. S-A-G. I mean, right? Like there are times that this is overwhelming. But then I think about like, what, what's going to be like when they're gone, right? I'm thankful for DoorDash. We use a lot of DoorDash, don't we, sis? We get food delivered, but they also bring our Walmart stuff. That's amazing. Oh. And to think about that, right? Like for 20, yeah, just, I'm not even going to go down that. I'm thankful for that intuition I was just talking about. I know that there's something there. Um, 
and whenever it happens, I, I'm learning to listen to that more often. When so, when my intuition says, hey, you should pay attention to that, I'm like, I should pay attention to that. You know what else I'm thankful for? Whatever today brings, whatever tomorrow brings, I'm thankful for it all. Universal truth. If you want to be happy, you got to be thankful for what you got. You got to be present. You got to accept your circumstances and be thankful for them, right? Just like two plus two is always far. All right? You guys ready to wrap it up? Hands up. Peace out. We're better together. Appreciate you stopping by on a Sunday. That, that's right. <laughs> Appreciate you stopping by on a Sunday, Monday. We'll be back tomorrow on a special Mamba Monday on Labor Day. All right? Deuces. Hashtag Real Talk. Love you guys. See you later.